Hi all of you, this is Gil. So on this video, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna uh, tell you how to prepare for the internet that's about to turn off in 2023 on. So I'm just making this up, so. So the question here, what, what, the real question is now, what if that they, what if, the internet was to shut off and be permanently turned off or what if someone was going to say that they decide that they're going to turn off the internet like where we're not going to have internet anymore forever and ever i mean let's i'm just making this up but anyway so what if so i mean i, I could tell you on this video on this video i'm gonna basically tell you on how how to prepare how to prepare well in advance where well in advance for the day that they turn it off so number one thing you got to get your rabbit ears antennas for your tv and you got to have your tv analog tv or well no, it's not an analog tv well you just got to have a television that can pick up regular signal like or uh, like tv signals I mean, the, I mean, it's like a TV. You have to have a TV that can pick up analog, or it's not analog. It's TV signals or sh signals, <clears throat> and you just put the antenna on, and then you could watch regular TV. I mean, I don't know how many of you actually know about the regular TV that we actually do have, <clears throat> but... In today's times, you know, a lot of these TVs, they don't really, they don't, <clears throat> they're not even set up like that. But, I mean, I don't even know if, if you can even, if they even have the ability to pick up regular TV signals. <clears throat> but on some TVs, you have to set it up. But, I mean, anyway, you just get that antenna ready. And then you got, you got to get your TV ready so you can watch regular TV or you can watch I mean, in today's times, you know, you could, it's like a lot of extra channels, like, in my, in my area, it's like channel 2, 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13, <clears throat> and then a lot of, like, in today's TV, my mom has that, you know, my mom has, has a TV hooked up to an antenna, and she watches the regular TV, I mean, but, anyway, and it has the extra channels per, like channel five will have 5.1, 5.2, whatever. You know, they, that, so get your TV ready. You know, you gotta get that TV ready for, to pick up regular TV signals. And another thing too, to, on how to prepare, is you can listen to the radio for your music because you're not gonna have Alexa anymore and you're not gonna be able to play Spotify anymore because you need internet, right? So, <clears throat> You gotta, like, if you wanna hear music, then you can turn on the radio, the regular radio, and you can put on a station that plays mostly music that you like, although, I mean, it's not gonna be the order of songs, or it's not gonna even be the songs that you wanna hear right there and there, because they're gonna play only what, what they're gonna play at that moment, so, so that's how you could prepare for that part. The music part, you can listen to the radio, but if you don't want to listen to the radio, then you need to get your CDs ready. You got to get your CDs ready. Or your even cassettes. Or if you have vinyl by any chance and a record player. Got to have your CDs ready. <clears throat> so, have your favorite CDs. Or, or, I mean, like before the internet turns off, you just have to... You can also do your MP3 players, or you get, you just gotta download all the songs that you like. You gotta buy them and download all the songs you like. So, and then that way, when the internet doesn't work, you, you'll have the music that, that way you can play your songs without the internet. So, <clears throat> without internet, you could use CDs, or you could download the <clears throat> radio, or you could download the MP3s. Do that before the internet turns off, though. So, and another thing you could do, like without internet, I mean, 
prepare like you could prepare like you could use your xbox or other traditional video games just prepare all your games that don't require internet unfortunately you're not going to be able to play um roblox or games like that or Genshin Impact either. You're not gonna be able to play that. So you're just gonna have to resort to to other games. You know, you're just gonna have to resort to like regular games that don't require internet. You know, like you just buy, you just stock up on several of those um, and like those games like that. You could play like usually you could download games. You get download them before the internet turns off. Now, to download all the games that you like on your phone or everything you know like when the internet comes off that way you'll have plenty of games <clears throat> excuse me so and another thing too like now for the tv part i mean now if you want to watch movies you're not going to be able to watch netflix anymore you're not going to be able to do any of that so you're gonna need to prepare your dvds go go shop for all the dvds that you like plenty of them or you could maybe borrow some. You could probably borrow some DVDs. Or or you could just prepare all the DVDs. Or if you have a VHS collection, you use those too. I mean, prepare those. Or you could download all of your favorite movies. You could download everything now. Do that now before <clears throat> the internet turns off. So, <clears throat> excuse me again. Or uh, uh, other things you could do besides TV, like having your own DVDs. You could just rent DVDs. They still do that. I mean, the Red Box. You could rent DVDs through Red Box. So you'll just be resorting to your DVDs or renting DVDs and stuff like that. And then another thing, too, if you like to read, I mean, like, you're not going to be able to read stuff online anymore. So, <coughs> excuse me. You're not going to be able to be able to read stuff on the internet. So you just grab a bunch of books or newspapers that you like of all of subjects that you like. And so you um, go ahead and get all those ready and you could read those books when when you get bored, you know. Yeah. And then other things you could do, too. I mean, on the you know, on your phone, like you, you could call your friends. I mean, when it comes to talking about like. You could interact with friends because you're not gonna have Facebook anymore. So you, you'll have to you'll have to find other ways to for entertainment. Like you'll have to interact with your friends. You have to interact. So you'll have no choice, you know, but to interact with your friends, you know, in in a given place. And then you'll have to use your phone, like to call your friend. You, that's all you can do with your phone. You can only call. People, you cannot use the internet or anything. You cannot use internet or anything on the phone, you know. Like, it's only basically calling your friends. So that's the other thing that you can... You'll have to interact with your friends. And then you'll have to call your friends through your phone, you know. Like, you can only call them. Other things that you could do while you're interacting with your friends, you could... um play board games too you could get the board games ready because you're not going to be able to play online games you know like you could download all the games that you like on your phone but you can also buy board games too like to entertain yourself and your friends like while you're while you're living without internet right <clears throat> so and another thing that you have to prepare for for no internet is yeah, so you gotta you gotta write down all the addresses from all of the bills that you pay you're gonna have to write them all down and and be ready to um to be ready to um like mail mail your payments manually so you have to do everything manually now i mean so get your addresses ready and your phone numbers ready and put them all aside so that way you'll know who where to mail your check to and you gotta have your checks too i mean or you could pay by phone if you want to i mean you could do that still without internet so yeah i mean <clears throat> and you just gotta you really need to get yourself familiarized with this Got you guys need to uh, get familiarized with do doing everything manually you know like manual like going like m manually sending in the bills and stuff and still one more thing, 
you could do, like, like prepare yourself. Like physical store, you're going to have to go to the physical store because you're not going to be able to go to Amazon.com or you're not going to be able to go to eBay anymore. You just got to go to the physical store now. I mean, so you got to make a list of all physical stores that you like and just go there once in a while. Hop these stores once in a while to buy the stuff that you like. <clears throat> so you got to create a routine or you got to get yourself ready on that. And know where where all your stuff is at so where all your stores are at that's places that you like to that could include like where you could buy your games for the xbox so you gotta know where all the physical stores are at like be ready for that and still another thing too you're gonna need you're gonna need to have that map book so yeah i mean because the you're not gonna have MapQuest anymore, or you're not gonna have any sort of map services like that require internet. Maybe you could probably use a navigation system, but without internet, I mean, you're gonna need that map book. So, I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Well, just uh, so without the internet, you, you, you could still use your computer and stuff, so. Yeah, you, you could um still use it and everything and then but you, you could still like like take pictures with your phone and you could still take video with your phone but but you, like you'll be able to load them up onto your computer and save them onto your hard drive but you just won't be able to post it on YouTube and stuff. So and now what about YouTube? Without internet, like like we won't be watching YouTube, so that's where you get your T V. I mean you just have to use your TV for your to watch your news or the things that you like to watch, and then the TV is your best friend on that part because you, you find the channels that you like to watch that's involving that things that's kind of close to what you like to watch. So I hope that this video helped you about like preparing to to get yourself prepared for. The internet that's about to turn off. I'm telling you. So, yeah. Well, unfortunately, apparently, I mean, YouTube, for me, it would be kind of hard, you know, like, like to not have internet, you know, like, but that, that, those are some quick ideas on how you could prepare. I mean, I hope that you guys could get this uh, video really well. And then, like, and then, of course, you know, like, you gotta download all videos from YouTube that you like that you like before the internet turns off so that way you can watch videos that you like your favorite videos but particularly movies or things like that so <clears throat> so yeah i mean so that's how you could prepare that that's my uh tips on how you could prepare for no internet uh, on that life without internet that's how you prepare i mean that's a tips my tips on how you could prepare for if the, if they were to turn it off like right now and never turn it back on, you know, at least, you know, prepare. I mean, at least prepare for that, you know, like my tip, you know, that's my tip on preparing for it. So, okay, well, I hope you liked this video. Right now, this is November 11th, 2022. Yeah, I know about the midterm elections in there. Okay, well, I hope... You like this video, so all right, I'll see ya.